Bonjour, madame et monsieur. Vlog numéro 6. I'm off to get some groceries. Care to join me? Okay, we're here now. Uh, Tesco's. Tesco's extra. Let's get some shopping done, shall we? Okay, so what do we need? Um, eggs, milk, bread, maybe a bit of wine, veggies, fruits. That should do me. Right, so delivery slot booked and we're done. Okay, well, it didn't take too long to get the shopping done. Uh, sorry, I might just pop out for a cup of coffee later on. Fuck's sake, I just hate packaging like that. It's just... I, I just I cannot, words cannot describe how much I hate this sort of packaging. Is now just chilling out, having a cup of coffee, and uh, chilling with the old uh, iPad, uh, just tweeting and browsing. Yeah. Be rude not to. that yellow thing in the sky. I think I'm gonna go for a... A walk in the park. A run, maybe? A bike ride? Uh, so I just got back home, and uh, as it happens, I was as I was out, uh, the battery on my phone ran out. Off to have some dinner. Going to this uh, restaurant, which is like quite strange, but they do an Indian and a Thai menu. They're both quite nice. You usually get two different types of cuisine in one restaurant. Even if you do, they're generally not very good. Uh, from, from experience, uh, they're, they're generally good only in one specific cuisine. But uh, here it seems like they've got Indian chefs and uh, Thai chefs. Well, when I say Indian, it's actually not an Indian restaurant. It's, it's, it's more of uh, a Bangladeshi cuisine. Uh, I shouldn't really uh, say Indian because it's not Indian at all whatsoever. Most restaurants in, in, in this country um, aren't actually Indian. 
the cuisine that we generally call Indian is either mainly Bangladeshi or of Pakistani origin. We've been to a mainstream restaurant yet so far where it's, uh, they serve authentic Indian cuisine. You might have a couple of dishes in the menu that sort of resemble Indian cuisine but aren't quite. Um, and also, <coughs> um, I think in any case the menus are quite uh, bastardised or inglified, should I say. Um, most of those dishes you're not actually going to find, find in any one of these countries. <laughs> It doesn't really matter, but um, but yeah, the, the actual Indian food. Uh, so far, I've only found I well, found a couple of restaurants actually in an area of Greater London called uh, well Stanmore, Kingsbury, uh, and Harrow. There's a few authentic Indian restaurants there. If you get a chance, do look into it do some research if you do like your curries do some research and find out if there is a genuine authentic Indian restaurant in your area um, they are very rare very hard to find uh, as a matter of fact I'm actually driving through an area called Burry Park right now it's quite strange to to see these sort of restaurants uh, or rather these sort of streets in uh, in UK and in in, um, in this country because they completely transform these streets I can't honestly say that it's good or it's for the good because they the they sort of uh, make the streets quite filthy and dirty you know the, the stalls come out for instance you can see over there it's just a shop but you know, they just bring everything outside. So this is what I was talking about. Um, there's, there's always uh, chock-a-block with people uh, and cars. Um, of course, illegally parked as well, no doubt. But as you can see, you know, the restaurants, the shops, it, it, it literally just overflows onto the roads. And uh, how can it be healthy or how can it be hygienic? Um, I I just don't approve of such uh, shops and such behaviour. Uh. Just got back from dinner. Weren't too bad, nothing special. Gotta make some plans for tomorrow. Luton by night. Don't forget my lovely viewers, you have to rate, comment and subscribe.